everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a painting of some princesses. So in my daughter's bedroom she has these two long canvases and I painted one with a set of five princesses and now I'm going to paint the other one with the next set of five princesses and even though I did record these a long time ago and I uploaded the first one in the beginning of the summer and I'll put a link to that in the description box below, I'm just now getting around to showing you the second one. She absolutely loves them. They really create this nice ombre across her bedroom wall because the background colors are an ombre and they just kind of float from one color into the next and the princesses, I tried to coordinate them so that like their attire went with the color that they were on top of. I hope you like this little Disney princess explosion as much as we do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. To start with, I'm going to begin with Cinderella. She's just the one that's kind of in the middle in the back and it just seemed right. I'm going to paint over her skin with a light kind of peachy color, her hair with yellow, and then do her dress and her headband with blue. After I have a base coat over everything just so that the color has something to kind of start with, I'm going to start adding all of the shading. I am trying to make all of the princesses kind of look like they're from the same era, so where Cinderella normally would have lots of heavy outlining, I'm eliminating those and trying to modernize the, the illustration style a little bit. Add the details over her face, and then I'm going to go through and do her hair, adding all of those shades and highlights, bringing in a lot more brown into her hair than just sticking with the straight up yellow, kind of more goldenrod colors. I'm going to add a little bit of a pearlescent onto her headband, onto her earrings as well. I'm just going to keep going through and doing all of these details. I know that this is a super fast time lapse style video. I just wanted to be able to share it with all of you and kind of just, it's fun. I love to watch paintings happen. I love just the whole process. Over the top of the cuffs of this sleeve, I have already painted her arms. I'm going to use diluted blue paint so that it really has a, a sheerness to it. So it looks like it's like tulle or taffeta or something. Now over Jasmine, I did the same process. Gonna start with just a coat of color over her face, her neck and chest, and then do a simple black coat over her hair. Now going through with my a whole collection of browns and peaches and creams, I'm going to start doing all the shading on her face. Heavy, a little more heavy shading across her forehead because I feel like her hair is going to add a little more shading just down her forehead. And then the same thing on her neck, just add a little bit more of that color. Doing a painting like this or a series of paintings like this is a great exercise in just blending and skin tones. Even if it isn't real people, it just gives a lot of repeated process on working with, with skin. So if you are, you know, that's something you struggle with in your painting, just do something crazy. Even if it's not a painting you normally would want to do or like lean towards doing, but painting something along this lines, so it's like a whole bunch of the same thing over and over again, is just a great way to really give yourself some time to practice. I'm going to add little hints of blue into her hair. I'm going to use teal to go over her headband, add the shading on that with the same pearlescent, and I'm going to use some gold on Jasmine. All of these characters do have one piece that is metallic that just kind of and I did that with a previous painting as well just to kind of tie it all together give them a little bit of glamour this is going in a little girl's room so I mean we're all about glamour around here I'm going to add the details to Jasmine's top and as I am painting each one of these I am doing everything but their eyes I will go through and add details to all of their eyes at the end it just seems to be my process it works for me so that is the route we are taking after I have everything but Jasmine's eyes done I'm going to move on to Rapunzel so I'm doing the three that are in the back and then Anna and Elsa are a little bit more forward sitting just in the position that they are on the canvas so I'm gonna do the three that are behind them first and then do the ones in the front. I am going to do the same process on Miss Rapunzel starting with skin and hair. This time though I'm going to do a little more detailing on her dress as well just because there's so many patterns and different colors within there. And then just like before I'm going to go back and do her face with the more precise detailing and then going to add all of the color to her hair. She has so much hair and it has a lot more color variants than like say Jasmine did especially. So go through and do the highlighting on her hair, go through, add a bunch of shading using a bunch of little lines and don't be afraid to use dramatically different colors from white to darker colors to darker browns. The more color you add, the more variety of the color, the shinier and healthier the hair is going to look. Add the color back in kind of around her neck 
And now I'm going to add some of those details to her cuffs. When you're doing some or to her sleeves, when you're doing the shading on say the light pink on the sleeve, don't be tempted to use a darker shade of pink. To add the darker areas, mix some brown into whatever light pink it was you're doing. Same thing with the purple. Don't be tempted to use a darker shade of purple. That's not going to make it look like it's got shading. That's going to make it look like an ombre. If it's going to be shaded, you need to use a mix of white and black into the original color. That's going to give you the most, like it's light and dark with a light source look. Add the details to the lacing and to the bow, the cuff. On Rapunzel, her metallic element is going to be that little bit of trim around her neckline and then the cuff on her sleeve. That's going to be where the metallic qualities come into place. After Rapunzel's done, go ahead and move on to either Anna or Elsa, whichever one you want to do next. I'm going to do Anna just because it's easier to move the canvas that way for the tripod. I'm going to do the same as I've been doing. Surprise, surprise, face, hair, dress. As I'm adding those details to her dress, because her hair goes over the top of her dress, I'm going to do, or her cloak, I'm going to do more of the detailing on that before I move on. I usually try to do things in order of whatever is like behind in the image. And usually that's going to be a face and then hair because her hair is like behind their shoulders. But in the case of Anna where the braids are pulled forward, it's a little different. And on Anna, because she is out in the cold, especially in this moment where she's got this cloak on, add a little bit more of a blush to her face. Because Anna and Elsa are going to be the newest of the Disney princesses on this canvas, they are going to be the ones that naturally you're just inclined to add the most detail to. All of the images have a lot more detail. The shading, the highlighting, everything is just so much more advanced and realistic that no matter what, it's just going to be tempting to add more to them. So these ones are going to take a little bit longer. And after I painted Anna, I thought to myself, man, I really wish I used oil paints because I feel like that would have made the process of painting her all just a lot more natural instead of going over and over with the same colors of acrylic paint because it dries so quickly. So I am actually going to start trying some oil paints. So wish me luck. But we've got Anna's face done and the little freckles. I'm going to go through and do her hair. And same thing with their hair. There's just going to be so much more detail in the hair of a newer character than in a an older one. Don't forget Anna's streak of lighter colored hair. Add all of those details. Like even just the way that her bangs lay across her face, there's a lot more realism to that than there would be with the other characters. So I'm going to make sure I try to include all of that while trying to simplify it as well so that it doesn't look like they're sticking out and unnatural against the other ones. I'm trying to create a nice little blend between old and new. I'm going to add that streak going through her braid and go through and do the other braid. Painting braids is something I find super enjoyable. So painting them in this process was, it's just like it's meditation. It's repeated process. I love doing anything that's got a repeated process. Now the most challenging one and the last one is going to be Elsa. The reason she's the most challenging is because she's so pale that it seems like if you try to add too much shading onto her face, you're going to end up making her look ill just because there's going to be so much more gray on her and it's funny because I kept looking at pictures and I kept thinking oh this can't be right but it really it is how she looks she is very just so pale and does have a kind of a gray a gray tone to her skin especially when she's outside and that's just an attestment to the amazing qualities of new animation is that she does take on some of those like worldly snow qualities when she is outside and all the snow is reflecting off of her really incredible animation but here we are painting painting Elsa and the other thing that makes her a little bit more challenging than the other ones is that she does have some eyeshadow on not that there's any any issue there just one extra thing to kind of blend out and find find the tones for I'm going to make sure we add in all of that gorgeous purple I'm going to add the color down her neck and then the other challenge with Elsa that just is part of part of her her thing is that her hair color is very similar to her skin color. So to try to get it to be distinctive between hair and skin and just all these things, it does make you think a little bit more with her. So if you are up for a challenge, I highly recommend giving Elsa a try. I'm going to add all of those shadings and, and highlights across her hair without making her hair too dark. It's um, kind of a process of getting it dark enough without, you know, without making it look like it's no longer icy blonde add all of those little bits of shading this is also where going with less warm tone browns but more of gray tone browns is going to make her hair look shaded rather than a multitude of colors i'm going to add snowflakes going within her hair this is where elsa gets her shininess from her metallic is going to be in those snowflakes and then i'm going to go through and do two pairs of eyes at a time so i'm going to do jasmines and elsa's adding the whites adding the irises 
adding the pupils and then the lash lines. If you do them kind of like back and forth this way, it gives you a good opportunity to add the shading and not get to where you have to wait for things to dry because you can just kind of hop back and forth. After that, Cinderella and Anna go through and add first the whites of their eyes and the shading around their eyes and then the color. Anna and Elsa have teal eyes, Jasmine has brown, Cinderella has blue. After that's done, then there really is just the one left because Rapunzel's going to be all on her own. I just, I love painting the eyes. It's kind of like saving dessert for the end. I find it to be the most enjoyable little element of painting a face. So saving it for the end was like saving the best for last for me. And now last but not least on this collection, I'm going to do Rapunzel's eyes. She's the only one on this canvas that has green add her little details you can even see like their eyelashes the shift in animation style it's just so interesting i love looking at and analyzing those types of things i hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as i enjoyed painting it and melody enjoys having it on her wall and if you want to see the previous one i will definitely put a link to that down below or you can click that little box right there and i will see you all next time bye <laughs>